This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today being Wednesday, we're dealing with a viewer's question, but before we get into that, I will just mention, as always, that if you have any questions or queries of a guitar or music-related nature, and you think I'm the chap to answer them, then get in touch. You can see the website address there at the top of the screen, link in the description, use the contact form there to uh, send me a question, or you can leave a, a comment below this or any of my other videos, or you can use my email address, jrguitartuition at gmail.com. And uh, who knows, your uh, your question could feature in one of these videos. One chap who got in touch via the email route is called Sarji, and this is his question. Dear John, I'm Sarji, your regular viewer of your Friday live stream. I'm from South India, and I've been your channel subscriber since 2018. My question is, there are many genres in Western music, like classic rock, punk rock, blues, heavy metal, and so on. Being not so familiar with Western music, I often find it difficult to distinguish one genre from another. Can you give me an insight into how to distinguish each genre, like whether there is a particular rhythm pattern or chord sequence to a particular genre, with examples? Thank you so much for your service as a guitar teacher, and a guitar freak like me, thousands of miles away from you, can learn much from you. Cheers, best regards, Sarji. So, what is it that defines different genres of music? What a massive topic that is. I can't hope to go into the necessary depth in a single video, but I'm going to try. Uh, coming up next, there's a little short piece of music that runs through a few different genres, or my attempts at them anyway. Uh, a little bit of punk, a little bit of rock, a little bit of funk, blues, country and metal. And uh, then we'll go on to uh, have a little bit of a description of um, what it is that characterizes each one of those. Here it is. Here is the explanation. Okay then, uh, let's take a look at these different genres then. Uh, to be honest with you, you could make an entire video, an entire series of videos about any of these genres of music or all of them. Um, and I'm just going to try and 
summarise it in, in a few bullet points per genre. So I'm bound to miss uh, some elements out that you think should be there. But these are just personal, um, you know, kind of observations, really. What I'm trying to do here is... Um, you know, kind of think of a, a first time listener to any particular genre of music. What are the things that stand out to that person and make them think, ah, yes, that, that style of music does that. So starting with punk, um, by and large, and these are all sweeping generalizations, by and large, we're talking, you know, kind of quite fast tempos here. Uh, simple riffs at fast tempo, simple, direct, straight to the point riffs, usually based around power chords uh, at fast tempos that, um, you know, have something of a, a degree of snub nosed arrogance about them because that is at its core what this genre of music is all about. And that is what I was trying to illustrate with this little riff here. Uh, so that is what I would say is going on with punk. Now, let's talk about a very close relative of punk, rock, classic rock, if you like. Uh, once again, power chords, dirty guitar tones and riffs, sometimes a little bit more, um, you know, intricate uh, in their nature. Um, maybe with an element of blues in there as well, which we're going to be looking at uh, shortly uh, further on into the video. But the thing I suppose that uh, really characterises classic rock is the fact that there are more solos. Um, class all of these kind of genres of music have crossovers, you know, I mean, punk and rock, you know, uh, you would get punks uh, and kind of metalheads and rockers at a motorhead concert, for example. Um, but, you know, rock is, I think, you know, there's more of an emphasis on solos. That's not to say that, um, you know, punk never had guitar solos, because it sometimes does. But it, there's more of an emphasis on this in rock. And the, they tend to be more intricate and um, rapid playing in such solos. And that is what I was trying to uh, get across when I was uh, putting this little bit together. <laughs> And next we move on to uh, funky stuff. Funk. So, you know, we tend usually to forego the uh, the dirty guitar tone here. Uh, although you do get people who use a dirty guitar tone in a funky manner. No, no, Betancourt springs to mind. But, um, you know, it's more about kind of a clean kind of... Um, almost uh, hi-fi, pure uh, guitar tone. Using more complex chords like ninths and thirteenths and that kind of thing and um, syncopating those chords uh, you know, against a rhythm so you're not always kind of uh, accenting straight on the beat. Uh, you know, there's quite often, um, well, you know, very often, I would say, you know, more of a um, kind of offbeat, kind of syncopated um, complexity to the rhythms. And uh, that is, once again, what I was going for with this little part of the tune. <laughs> Which brings us neatly on to the blues. Um, that little funky guitar part there was essentially a bit of a uh, kind of fancy version of a 12-bar blues. And that is, I guess, the most uh, defining feature of blues, the 12-bar chord structure. It's based around the 1, 4, and 5 chords in a key. And I'm, uh, I'm not plugged in at the moment, but I'll just kind of show you what that is. Let's move the microphone out of the way. So if you're in the key of A, you would have, uh, I guess, 4 bars on an A chord, then 2 bars on your D chord, then 2 bars on the A chord again, Go to the E chord, the 5 chord for a bar. Go to the D or 4 chord for another bar. Then back to the 1 chord of A for another bar. Then the 12th bar is usually um, turning it round on the 5 chord, in this case the E. Quite often those chords are played as 7th chords. And um, the, another defining characteristic of blues is that over all of those chords, which are essentially major chords... Uh, we play what the textbook would tell us is the wrong scale. Uh, what do I mean by that? Um, well, 
blues in A major, most of the lead guitar parts will be based around the A minor pentatonic scale. You can add other things in as well, but uh, that is the uh, the one I would say essential ingredient of a blues guitar solo. Another thing that you get with blues as well is um, well, it's it's not true to say that every blues solo should be a slide guitar solo. That's far from it. But I think you'd be hard pressed to find any major blues artist who hasn't at some point picked up the old glass bottleneck. So I thought that was often a defining characteristic of blues. You know, the, the, use, the use of a slide in, uh, you know, for playing guitar solos does occur in many genres, but, you know, by and large, sweeping gener generalizations here, um, you know, blues is where you're going to find it mostly happening. And that is what I was, all of those things is what I was trying to convey in this little part of the tune. <laughs> Which brings us neatly on to country music. Um, what can you say about country music? Well, there's much more of an emphasis on uh, acoustic instruments and, in fact, some subgenres of country, things like bluegrass, uh, are entirely acoustic-based. Um, the tempos, bluegrass aside, tend to be uh, more moderate with something of a more genteel feel about them and you often get that um, kind of... Uh, cowboy swing to it where instead of counting the rhythms as one and two and three and four and it's counted more like kind of one and two and three and four and gives it more of a kind of cowboy gallop to it like that and that is what i was trying to convey in this little uh, strummy part here <laughs> And when it comes to the use of an electric guitar in country music, by and large, it is usually more of a clean guitar tone um, that is, again, more genteel in the way that it uh, treats the soloing. Um, you do get some uh, absolute virtuoso speedy guitar players in country music. Albert Lee springs to mind. But um, for the most part, it's more about kind of being melodic, serving the song and uh, landing on sweet sounding chord tones, which was what I was trying to uh, convey in this little demo here. Which brings me on to the final genre I want to talk about today, metal. Now, this is where I'm on slightly shaky ground because I'm not a metal musician. I don't claim to be, I don't, I'm not an aficionado of this genre, but hopefully um, I've uh, heard enough of it over the years to be able to just convey a few uh, basic pointers for you. Um, it's an evolution of a genre that we've looked at already, classic rock or just rock music. In fact, if you were to go back to the 1970s uh, in some sort of time travel scenario, you would often hear a band like Led Zeppelin or Thin Lizzy or Deep Purple, bands of that kind of nature that today we regard as just being straight ahead classic rock bands. They would often be described back then as hard rock, heavy rock or heavy metal. The terms were interchangeable uh, back then, uh, much more so than they are now. The definitions have definitely evolved over the intervening decades so it's an evolution of uh, classic rock with um, just imagine like that scene in the Spinal Tap movie where everything is turned up to 11 that's kind of what metal does there's more of an emphasis on heavier guitar sounds more of an emphasis on virtuoso playing and um, I think another thing that always sticks out to me is I can't think of many metal bands that haven't at some point used twin guitar harmonies. Black Sabbath probably haven't, um, but as I say, I'm not a massive metal head, so maybe they have and I just haven't noticed. So that's what I've done here. I've taken that riff that we, uh, that punk riff that we started this little journey off with, and I've just given it a little bit more oomph, and as I said, turned everything up to 11 a little bit. I've tried to make the drums a bit heavier, and the bass line just a little bit more kind of slamming and um, put some guitar harmonies over the top and hopefully the end result sounds a little bit more metal than uh, where we began with this riff and uh, it sounds like this <laughs> So 
So there you go, folks. There is a bit of a whistle-stop tour of um, what a casual observer, a first-time listener, may regard as being the most noticeable elements of those different genres of music. Punk, classic rock, funk, blues, country, and metal. Those are the things that, to me, stand out as being uh, the main noticeable elements of those styles of music, and I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments um, you know, what you think are the most noticeable elements of said genres. So, there you go. And as always, uh, there is a full tab for that uh, piece of music uh, in all of those genres, uh, in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing it, that explanation you've just seen there, and a jam track to play along with for yourself, so you can try them all off yourself that is all as usual up on my patreon page there's the address link in the description as i'm sure you know by now it's i think these days it's three pounds or three dollars a month and you get access to all of these additional goodies that go along with these youtube videos a massive massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways all of which are downstairs in the description and that's pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful entertaining and informative in some small way at least and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and much 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 else it's a great way to keep uh, to kick off the weekend rather i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now Thank you.